Hey there, it's Apology of the Apology Company here. Another installment of No Apologies where you get to build your business your way. Today I want to talk about the different types of activities and the quality of presence and activity that you bring into your business. Because there's lots of things you can do. You can run, 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 like a rodent on a wheel for a long time, but that doesn't mean that what you're doing is going to be productive, focused, and effective. I believe it was Michael Gerber who first coined the term in his book, The E-Myth, about the difference between working in your business and working on your business. So if you could picture, let's say a bakery, working in your business is serving customers, opening the doors, running the cash registers, baking the pastries, dealing with the employees, uh, cleaning the floors, all those tasks. If you're a service provider, again, it's still dealing with your clients, serving your clients, customer service, your marketing, the doing, the things you need to do to keep going forward. Whereas working on your business is more strategic. This is about stepping back, taking a look at the big picture, working and creating and innovating new products, new offerings, writing copy, bettering yourself, sharpening the saw in a Stephen Covey sort of way. These are the things of working on yourself and working on your business that will ultimately create the container and the ability for you to grow and expand. Because if you're just doing, 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 you're catching up and you're frantic, you're never actually getting anywhere. It's like being on a treadmill. Whereas when you're working on your business, you're able to create a life and a business that works because you're cognizant and mindful of what you're doing, why you're doing it, and who you're doing it for. So take note, in your schedule, do you have distinct times where you're working in your business and you're working on your business? And I'll add a third category where you're totally disconnected from your business in the sense that you're just away from things so you can personally rejuvenate. If you don't have that in your schedule, it needs to be there. And if you're not sure how to do that, let me know in the comments. I'll give you some suggestions. So please like this video, share your thoughts in the comments. I know for myself, when I switched to a strong focus on the difference between working in and working on, things radically changed in terms of results in my business, happiness in my life, and general productivity. Please connect, www.thepologycompany.com is the home of all things intuitive intelligence and can build your business with a lot more ease. So stay tuned, have a great week in the meanwhile, and remember to always create a great day.